thought I would start this one by showing you the book that uh, Rudolf Yettel wrote. It's in the very back of book two, uh, page 84 and 85, The Virtuous Staccato, which is a mistranslation of virtuoso. Uh, and it shows all these exercises that we're going to do and a few ideas. But what Yettel is getting at in his book is that there are necessities for speeds in two areas. One is the one we all think about, you know, 16, 20, uh, repeated notes, how fast can you do that? But there's also the need for two, three, four, and sometimes five quick notes. And that's what Yettel's getting at in his book, that, that this speed must be considerably faster, generally speaking, than the ability to play 20, to be able to play two. <laughs> They have to, you have to really be able to do quick bursts um, for if you're playing, I got the wrong clarinet, but I'll transpose the William Tell Overture. That goes on a long time with a lot of those rhythms and you have to be able to make them clear. So that's what this exercise gets at, but it also builds the strength that you need to play the long series of sort of speed uh, that goes over a long period of time. You need them both. This exercise, series of exercises, will address all of them. So let's go on to part two of what Mr. Yettel is trying to get. Uh, so we uh, move in, let's say at the same tempo, and stay on the low C. So we have one, two, three, Okay, so that is that same dot of sound preceded by a 32nd upbeat. Now that 32nd note must, in this case, be separated entirely from the main note. It belongs to that note, but it, it, there must be space in between where that tongue is on the reed. Now you have to work on this until it sounds as good as the single notes, and it's very important to make it distinct. In projecting music through an orchestra, I always find that rhythms of this sort require the preceding or smaller note to be somewhat accented compared to the main note in order for it to sound equal. This will be even more true when that preceding note is lower in pitch. But I wouldn't do it with changing pitches just yet because we're just trying to get the basic sound of it right. Let me do a few bars of this so that you can play it back and forth. Three. This is one, this can take a, a quite a while to get to sound proper, even uh, with a really good result on the previous exercise. So spend some time on this before you move to the next one. 